So it's been a super frustrating day. You can see I've got the LJ stripped of any axles or differential carrier. It's all right here. So I've been trying to put in a power tracks lock right locker, but when I had it all together, nothing would unlock. We tried the tests as they're described in the installation manual multiple times and uh, even put a breaker bar on the hub nut and put more than 180 pounds of torque on it. Nothing. I could push them in with a screwdriver um, but I don't know if they're getting bound up on the shear pins or what. I took for granted that my spider gears and their thrust washers were okay. The carrier was new, but the spider gears were used, and I kind of forgot that. I put them in two years ago. So these coupler or these drivers go in here between the couplers, right? So that spacer sits right there, and this pin goes through here. And one of the measurements that it has you do is to check to make sure that space is between five thousandths and twenty thousandths of an inch, which mine is, so I thought I was good to go. But then, once you put both drivers in, they're supposed to only be five thirty seconds apart with a maximum tolerance of 0.17. Mine are about three sixteenths. And that's 0.1875, which is more than 0.17. So I don't know if that's the only reason why, but frustrating. I don't know. I'm kind of at a standstill now. I don't know whether to try to find some new thrust washers. It's getting late on a Saturday, so it's probably not going to happen. Just put it back together with spider gears and try this again later. So it's been a couple of days. <clears throat> I ended up just leaving the Jeep on jack stands. Um, I did buy some new side gear thrust washers. So if you're curious, Dana part number 34095 is uh, a Dana 30 side gear thrust washer. So four wheel parts actually was able to get them next business day. So I was able to get them just a couple of days later. Um, I got them in, I measured them. So the old ones were about 27 thousandths thick and the new ones were about 30 and a half. So they're a little thicker. So here we're gonna measure the spacer clearance. I mean, I've already measured it, but this is a 17 thousandths feeler gauge and it just, just fits in there kind of tight. Here's 18 thousandths, and it does not, does not go in. So here between the drivers, I got a new set of calipers that is a digital display instead of the crappy $5 ones that are plastic and only measure down to about a 30 second. Anyway. 0.1845 So this clearance is still 14 thousandths out. So I'm here at the computer doing some math So my driver gap is we'll call it 185 my spacer total spacer clearance is 34 thousandths or 17 per side the minimum I could get my driver gap if I took the spacer clearance all the way down to the minimum of five thousandths per side. So I could get my driver gap down to 160 thousandths, which is still a little over nominal, but it's 10 thousandths below the max. And I guess that would work, but to do that I need to add 12 thousandths per side. And I don't know how to do that. Um, I haven't seen that those side gear thrust washers are available in different thicknesses. 
the ones I brought in brand new from Dana, I mean, they should be new. I mentioned before the carrier's only got 5,000 miles on it, so it shouldn't be really worn down. Most of these lockers are going into TJs and XJs that are 20 years old and undoubtedly have the original case, whereas mine was brand new from Dana two years ago. It just doesn't make a lot of sense that the that the carrier would be that worn already. And I mean, if it's machined within Dana's spec, then why isn't it within Powertrack spec? I called tech support um, at Richmond Gear. The f answering service said Motive. I don't know. These companies are all connected. Um, but I called the the tech support number in the book, and the guy I talked to wasn't really that helpful, to be honest. Um, like the manual, he's trying to blame my washers and my carrier, and he's not really picking up how ridiculous it is. Anyway, I think some of these parts are out. Maybe I have a, you know, multiple pieces that are on one end or the other of the tolerance, and it just stacks up to where it's nearly impossible uh, to get it right. But basically, you know, they were no help. The carrier's almost new. The thrust washers are new doesn't even really leave any room for wear so as soon as I put it in you know it might work but in a year after it's been operating and you know some metal surfaces have worn down those thrust washers are gonna get a little thinner and then I'm gonna be back out of tolerance and so then what happens my locker quits working and they're gonna ask whether I'm in tolerance and deny any warranty claim so that's just not not good enough for me so uh, I've requested to return Suppose that I'll get my money back when I when I return it. I, I bought it on Amazon, so it's a fairly simple process there. So I guess I'm going to take this thing apart for about the fifth time. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to soak them in a parts cleaner bath for a couple hours. And at least that way when it gets back in the return, that it's not just a total oily mess. Although it isn't going to be brand new because the, uh, the manual has some oily, greasy fingerprints in it. So I've ordered an Aussie locker. I'm going to try that one. It's supposed to come in tomorrow. Um, I ordered it yesterday afternoon. Northridge, Northridge 4x4 has already shipped it. And UPS says it uh, should be delivered by tomorrow evening. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if I can get that one working. See if that one assembles within... Um, dimensional specifications if it doesn't I guess I'm going back to spider gears and maybe I save up a little more money and um, get another e-locker because one thing's for sure is I'm not going to go to the trouble of setting up backlash and all that for a new carrier just to put a lunchbox locker in and if Dane is making new carriers that for some reason that are looser than the old ones, then how do I even know that I wouldn't go to all that effort and make it the same situation?